Hi friends. I'm here to um, tease you a little bit. <laughs> my name is Tammy Neff and you're on my page called Tammy Loves where I am bringing you yet again something that I love that I think you guys might love as well. Um, I think this turned out really great. We just finished in our uh, online craft group and I am excited. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the things that I've made today, but I'm excited about figuring out what I'm gonna make. So let me, um, hi Angela, let me show you guys. So do you have um, pictures or, uh, uh, hi Cynthia, hi girls. Um, do you guys have pictures of family or pets or kids or grandkids and want to do some kind of a crafty i something crafty with them or um like for me old pages that i like there are like let me show you i have this awesome german uh, music old music book that's all done in the um, german language all of the all of the words are german and then I have this big ledger that I keep on my coffee table. Now it's a mess, but the inside's what's awesome. I keep it opened like this on my coffee table, and it's an old prescription ledger from a pharmacy. Okay, so you can see, probably see, like, just try and see right there where my thumb, where my finger is, it says RX. Like, these are all prescription. Here's a big RX up here. Um, I know it's backwards for you guys. I didn't even try to see if my turn it around thing's working today. But um, um, anyway, I love those pages. And, and I love, like, so my craft group is all about using old things and kind of, uh, I want to say, upcycling them or tweaking them or I was going to say fluffing, but <laughs> something to make them uh, different, okay? So, um, uh Okay, so let me, so I don't even know where to go. I didn't know where to go in the craft group. I was so excited about this craft. It's so fun. You love the old books, Cynthia? Well, I do too. So I have these two bags that I bought um, at, at my shop called Tammy Loves. They're the Mona B bags. You know, they're made with old truck tarps. And the backs were always plain. There was nothing on the back. And that bugged me. So I used the patches that I made with an old doily and I patched up the back of my bag, okay? So that it's not just plain and boring. So that was one thing. And then I did a purse. I bought this purse. I added the um, burlap flowers to the front. Again, a Mona B purse. I added some lace, some new fabric, and then some old um, advertisements and patches and postcards over the fabric. Okay, sewed them all on, sewed it all together. So now the back of my purse is as cool as the front. So I just didn't like, because half the time I'd pick it up and I'd have the right side out and then the other time I'd have the bad side out. And I was like, I, I don't know. I was always mindful of which side was out. <laughs> that was so stupid. So I um, just prettied up the back side. So I just want to show you, um, I'm not giving you the specifics here on the page. You've got to be in my group. My group is $15 a month. And I'll put a link in the comments here when I'm done. But it's $15 a month. You get every craft that we've ever done. And there's over 30 in there. Um, and they're all like our vintage tassels. Uh, I'm trying to look around and see what up. But the, the candlesticks with the embroidery hoops that we made, like the terrarium look, that was in there. Some Valentine stuff, just all kinds. And it's all, everything that we made in there, I have in my home. I've kept everything. Um, but so this craft, you use muslin and you use these uh, sticky pages to turn your paper like okay let me just show you the last one i just did i have pictures of lola my little dog that just passed away recently i had these two pictures made and cut down to fit frames okay isn't she adorable i can't talk about her for, for a second or i'll cry <laughs> and then i had it photocopied i went black and white i did one right side up one upside down i didn't mean to do that but so i took i took photographs and turned them into fabric muslin fabric now so let me show you. So I have to get it away from the paper backing, but it's a sticky product and you create your own 
fabric patches. So now Lola is all fabric. So yeah, so now I can put her on a bag, I can put her on a t-shirt. I'm thinking a pillow. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a pillow. I did, I made the same with the German music notes. So there's, this is fabric. I still have the paper backing on because the sticky's really sticky. These are the ledger pages from the um, book that I just showed you from the, uh, the old pharmacy book. Here are some old, uh, or some, um, just some um, old pictures that I found on Pinterest and made those for future use. Um, this was also from the German book. One thing I told the girls, I do it in, in um, um, color. You get the color of the pages. This was just black and white. Um, I did, this one is one that I've done a long time ago, and I took the paper backing off of this one. But this is just a bunch of my postcards, my old postcards that we have at the shop. Um, I, I do all kinds of things with these. But anyway, these are... Um, ready to be cut out and crafted with. So I show you guys how to do this in there amongst a million other things. Um, and then the last one, I'm getting ready to do some vintage um, projects with this. So I want to, um, I found these on Pinterest, so I'm gonna cut them out and then I'll have little circles of fabric that I can do a project with too in my craft club. So I'm telling you guys, I just, I know I come on here all the time and I tell you, tell you, tell you, but I'm telling you, I am keep telling you, I'm not gonna quit telling you. It's a great place to be if you like creating, doing different things, you wanna know the behind the scenes, how she do that. That's what this is, group is all about. It's $15 a month, not $15.99, it is $15. So that's really cheap. <laughs> I don't know how long it'll stay at that price, but for now, I'm leaving it there. Um, so uh, I'll put a link here at the top, but I just thought I'd show you guys just some of the little things we're doing in there. I've got a couple of other crafts lined up for the month. Um, I, I don't say how many I'm doing for $15, um, that's, good enough to be one or two, but I usually do four or more. I know a couple of months I went crazy with all sorts of little things, but, um, and I don't schedule when I'm doing it. You guys all follow me enough to know that I'm as busy as all of you are, so I don't say, you know, Tuesday at 12 or whatever. I just come on. So, like, um, I haven't done anything in the group until today. This was the first day I did anything in the group, and then, um, I've got, like I said, a couple of other things, but I just go on. You don't have to be live with me. I gave them the link, what they need to get to get the sticky papers um, so that they could order those and have them. So once I showed them how to do it, they um, would be ready to rock. But typically the things that we use are all vintage. And so um, I show them what I do and then they go out and look at their antique shops or look on eBay or ask me if I can put a little bit of stuff together for them and send it to them so um we'll help you we'll help you get whatever you need but anyway you know me and i'm crafty and i love antiques and vintage and so i love sharing and that's what i do in the group so just letting you guys know i'm headed to the grocery but i wanted to squeeze this in while my husband was out mowing <laughs> and so that that way i could be live with just you guys and i didn't have him lurking <laughs> you know not that he's a lurker but i mean <laughs> just like you know he's he can't turn on the tv or get into the fridge or whatever when i'm going live so um, yeah, so he was out busy, so I thought I'm gonna show them how to do this, and then it was just turned out so cool, I just thought I'd tease you guys a little bit. <laughs> I'll put a link if you're interested. We'll see you later, bye.